Good morning. Do I have a hugely packed day today? I've got four meetings today. Four. What? I don't have meetings. Three of them are video calls. One is a podcast that I'm doing right now. Our business of machining episode 170. That's like over three years of podcasts every single week. We've never missed one except for the one in Germany that we missed because I flubbed recording it. And I was recording on my phone and my phone fell asleep halfway through the recording. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Podcast with Saunders and then uh, current stuff. All right, podcast complete, 46 minutes and five seconds. That was good, it was a really good podcast. Episode 170, Business of Machining, go listen to it. It was really good. Um, notice my Zoom backup recorder is low on battery, so I'm gonna pull out the rechargeables. And I wanted to say, I got this guy from uh, my buddy Jason at darksucks.com at Prometheus Lights, um, battery recharger. And I've got one at home and I love it, so I got another one at work here. And I really like having it right here on my becoming cluttered desk um, because I carry my flashlight all the time and I uh, go through batteries eh, once a week, once two weeks probably. And then I got some extra batteries here. Um, so I rotate out, so I've always got fresh batteries. And I've also got a fresh battery in my backpack that I bring with me everywhere. Um, so I'm always good to go, but I can now recharge my AA's. And I basically want rechargeables in absolutely every device I have because alkaline batteries are stupid. Um, so yeah, it just makes it handy and easy, and you need that quick access to be able to just not have recharging stuff be a problem. Speaking of which, I'm gonna replace this battery right now. Fun fact about this little guy, the door flapper broke, I think, when I, I dropped it once, so I drilled and tapped a hole here um, to put a set screw to like hold the flappy door in, uh, except I need, I can't quite do it with my fingers, it's kind of awkward, so I need a little Allen key. Um, to do it, except uh, I don't always have an Allen key close by. So I found a spare one and I'm gonna 3D print a quick little like clicky mount. So I'm gonna mount this guy probably right to the, to the rod there that I never use. Um, so it's always available. And that's gonna take no time. I'm gonna design it in like three minutes right now and then print it when I get home tonight. Another distraction that's not on my critical list for today, but uh, yeah, let's move on. Done. Moving on. The point is not to be pretty or awesome. The point is to get it done. That's probably five to eight minutes. Then I'll print it tonight. Save, close, go away. Back to this. Okay, next on my list before my next meeting is um, ordering material for all the clamps that I gotta make to finish this rask pallet. Uh, because I have some of it, but I need a lot more. So, that has led me down a little bit of a rabbit hole, but I, I need to know, these are the small Aroa pallets. Like, there's the big ones, the six inchers, and then on the back side of the Aroa, it can mount a whole ton of these small three inchers. Um, and I wanna be able to have fixtures that bolt to the top of this. So my question is, do I have to bolt through the top you know what I mean. Do I have to bolt through the top to be able to do that? Or can I remove these little plates? I know I can, and then bolt uh, screws through the bottom of that in order to mount my things. The question is, do I want to? Because if you notice, there's these four little feet there, and they're perfectly ground, and I would wager a guess that they are very coplanar with each other. Um, it wouldn't, I don't, I don't know if they're ground in place or not, if you're not supposed to remove them. There might actually be instructions um, telling you what to do. I should find that, but yeah, I, I need to develop a standard if I'm gonna bolt everything from the top or from the side maybe, um, or if I can go in through the bottom, which is typically easier, and then it gets everything out of the way. So that's what I'm looking at real quick right now. Um, but I'm developing my, my tooling list, or my, my material order list. And I ordered some end mills, which was really good. This is the kind of stuff that I tend to put off and put off and put off and put off until I need it. And then it's like, oh crap, I should have ordered that. Um, yeah, so between metal and end mills, I get pretty stocked. Hey, what is John Grimsmo calling? 
good. I need to order some 4140. All right, I need a uh, half inch thick by one and a half inch wide. Uh, five, five inch cut. Uh, HD if you have it. Boom, metal finally ordered. Oh, I don't know why I put off that stuff for so long. It's just so easy not to do it. Okay, two minutes, got my video call. You might be interested in who, who this call is with. It's a prep call for a, an actual conversation we're gonna have next week. Um, I'm gonna ask him if it's okay. If it is okay, he's gonna say hi. All right, guys, he said yes. Matt. Matt, it's, should it be just me and you, or you want these guys on? All right, Titan, you're on. Yeah, they'll be here for life. What's up, John? What are we doing here, man? Man, this is going to be good. We're going to have a live event, and uh, our special guest is you, John, and it's going to be amazing. Nice. When, so, uh, when's I'm the excited date? to have you on the show. We're going to talk manufacturing. What's that? When uh, when's it coming out? When like this is going up tomorrow? So yeah, so then uh, we'll actually have this on Monday, this Monday at nine a.m. Pacific time. So what is that? Uh, noon Eastern time. And I think it's gonna it's gonna be great for like especially young machinists and people in business and stuff. I think you're a great example of somebody who built a a product and then you grew a company around that product and uh, the excellence in that product and, and use social media to actually bring worldwide attention to yourself. And uh, it's an incredible story. I'm super pumped. Like, yeah, when you said, yeah. when, you, when you asked, I was like, I'm in, let's do it. Yeah. Cool, it's perfect. So great, you know, I mean, that's what people like need to hear in just those, those manufacturing you know, salt of the earth type talks where you just, you know, you get into it, you talk about the hardship, you talk about, you know, the, the pitfalls and the valleys and the triumphs. And, and when you actually created a product where you're like, you know what, I'm actually going to expand this and go into production on this. And this could be a thing. And then just, you know, and then just the grit, like let's talk grit. Like you don't just go from 1500 square feet to what do you got? Like 10,000 square yeah. feet now. You don't just go to 10,000 square feet without actually having to bust through walls, you know, going. Everybody's telling you that you can or can't do it. I mean, you have to have focus. And so I really want to, like, understand you, John, and, and your focus and what you've had to go through to actually achieve uh, greatness, man. You know? I'm super pumped. It's going to be such a good conversation. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, too, as they come up. And, uh, oh, I can't wait. So uh, there we go. Monday, May 18th, 9 p.m. Pacific, you said, right? Yep, 9 p.m. It's going to be good. Where? I'm telling you, it's going to go live on our Facebook page. So it's Titans of CNC Facebook page. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll put it out. Awesome. 9 a.m., May 18th. A.m. Pacific. Well, that was fun. Um, yeah, Titan from Titans of CNC. Um, he's got an amazing shop out in California. He's done some awesome stuff, puts out sick content on uh, CNC machining. And his big thing is trying to inspire younger generation to help bring this industry up and like keep it relevant and make it awesome, which it is. You guys know how nerdy I am about manufacturing. Um, but yeah, so next Monday, 9 a.m., uh, May 18th, we will be doing a live stream on Facebook. And it was interesting doing the test. I'm actually glad we, we did the test because uh, I could tell that his video camera looked way better than my little, you know, junky laptop uh, on screen. And I'm like, what camera are you using? And he's using a Canon, just like this one, um, plugged in with a USB. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try that. Let's, let's try that. Let's get my video at least as good as his. Um, all right, got a couple tool paths done on the Rask blade. Um, didn't make too much progress before I have my next meeting in two minutes. Um, bank meeting, annual review, boring stuff. I'm thinking to myself, what are they, what is the goal of this meeting? Just a normal annual review, go over thing. We did it last year. It's not a big deal, but, uh, yeah, so we're doing a conference call with me and Barry and Eric and uh, a bunch of people from the bank and, you know, I'll, I'll try to speed it as long as quickly as I can. I don't know. It doesn't need to take a long time. So that's what my next little bit's all about. Meeting number three.
finished. It took an hour. An hour. It was good, though. It was good. Um, okay. It's time to get some machines on. I have one, two hours and 20 minutes to eat some food and curd some curd. All right, so it's been a very busy, jumbled kind of day, and my, my day is running to an end here. Um, but I made some awesome progress on the fixture. I actually had a sweet idea eventually um, to define the fixture as stock so that I can tell where it's overcutting, like right there, um, based on, you know, a tool path that leads out or whatever. And it's not, maybe not something I do all the time, but it's nice to be able to see like, oh, this little nick right here happens from the tool. And these little gouges happen because blah, blah, blam. I thought that would be pretty cool. I needed a way to define um, these special ones, like the prototype ones. So I'm gonna engrave it right there because it's five axis and I can hit it from the side. And the little gouges you see right there are the tool. Um, I guess it's done. Give it a second while it all generates. Almost generated. Almost generated. Almost done. There's the little thing. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can see the tool like goes red when it hits the fixture. But that's fine, those little gouges are, are nothing. Not a problem at all. Yes, they're gonna touch, but who cares. Which means my blade is programmed. I got one or two more tools to add to the machine. I gotta throw this in, the, in a PG holder, mount it up, um, a couple of quarter inch end mills, and then I'm ready to rock. Unfortunately, it's not gonna happen today. All right, so my last meeting for the day uh, was an idea I had last night. Now, since we're in quarantine and I don't, I don't have my team around me, my guys that I get to like, we get to share experience and knowledge and learn together and I get to share my knowledge with them. It's kind of been bugging me that I can't do that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just start setting up calls with the guys, starting with one of the guys. And uh, let's just put aside 45 minutes and I'll tell you whatever you want to know. So that's what we're doing. So he's going to ask me all kinds of questions. We're going to focus on the machining side of things. We're going to say, how do you, you know, he's going to say, how do I set up a part? So we're going to do that and it's going to be really cool. And so I'm starting to write my notes right now, trying to figure out uh, exactly what we're going to talk about. And then uh, I'm excited because it's going to be cool because I got nothing to hide. I want everybody to learn as much as they want. So two things on my list that I didn't get to sort of, I got one and a half of them done. Um, Finished programming the part, which I totally did. Running it was another thing, but I just ran out of time. I haven't even turned on the machine yet. And then the other thing I wanted to do was network the machine either to our network here or just directly cable it to my computer so that not only can I transfer files between the machine and my computer, but I can also, there's a software where you can log in and like see the entire screen and everything, all the data on your computer. And you can actually have some wicked functionality that way. So. Um, I didn't get to that because I haven't turned the machine on. So those two things I'm kind of bummed about, but um, otherwise I ordered a bunch of stuff, ordered my material, ordered the tooling, worked on the tool paths, had my four meetings, and uh, it was a good day. A good day. And that concludes another quarantine vlog. Um, I'm off for the next day or two. I've got this super weird like couple days on, couple days off schedule right now. Even I can't keep track of it. But uh, having fun. I'm, oh, I wish I could come back tomorrow and play with this. I wish I could, but I can't. So, yeah, um, busy day, busy day. I feel like I got a ton done and I feel like I got nothing done at the same time because I didn't make anything. I like to make, 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 make. However, I'm happy, I'm happy, it's a good day. Get to spend some family time the next couple days so that'll be good too. Anyway, hope you all are well and I will see you very soon. Toodaloo!